You know when he's Texas, we doing these food reviews. Gotta get his love and content to my sage because you know how we do. But listen, guys, I was out here, car got vandalized. Somebody broke through my window, I'm trying to steal the baby car seat. It's crazy, man. But listen, work don't stop. We go pivot right now, we getting back to work. Let's go. Hey, it's gonna be all right. You know how we do it, sage. Whatever we go through, remember, it's a sage to you, right? Let's get it. With my car being broken into, with all the commotion, I misplaced my camera. So I had more content on the review I'm about to do right now. But hey, y'all know I'm gonna take care of y'all. You know the work don't stop. And you know I got y'all, baby, like the other side of the cold pillow. Let's get to it. Let's do it. guys we are here let's check it out all right guys to get started oh she got that orange cranberry fritter from voodoo donuts hey let me tell you something this surprised me oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it surprised me sage fam listen i thought that icing on top would have been too much but it wasn't i thought the orange just would have made a little bit too, you know, be a little bit too tangy, but it wasn't. Guys, this was slapping. Guys, for Voodoo to start like this, I was baffled, but excited at the exact same time. I bit into it, and you know y'all warming up for 10 seconds to make sure you get the extra love when you bite into it. Get that salmon and butter and ice and icing all on top to make sure you will, will be happily, tastefully pleased. On a scale of one to five, this is a 4.5. I tell no lies. Guys, if you get this from Voodoo Donuts, I promise you, it will be delicious. Now, see, it's no time only because it's only for the holidays. So, if you ain't showing up there yet, it may not be there. So, check it out online before you go up there. But I'm telling you, for this one, for the first, for the first donut, it's a banker. It's a banker. Let's move on. Guys, for this next one, it's the original glazed donut. Now listen, I wasn't too, uh, I wasn't too, you know, pleased with this one. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, when you do original glazed donuts, baby, it's it, it, that's your base. It gotta be slapped. It gotta be on point. And this one <laughs> wasn't. If this was a point, hmm, you don't, you don't, you, you don't know where you're going. Cause I bit into it. First of all, I warmed up, you know, for the 10 second rule. It gotta be 10 seconds, baby, that's right. And I bit into it. It was tough on the outside. You know, it wasn't, you know, you were doing when you bite into it and it melt in your mouth. This one said, I ain't melt nowhere, you gonna feel me. I said, hold on now. Then I kept on going, I said, maybe it'll get better. The inside had more of a cake donut texture than the donut itself. You know, it's kind of thick. Now, if you like thick donuts when you eat drink with coffee, maybe it's more for you. But for me, on a scale of one to five, for this original glaze, gotta give it a 2.5 out of five. I'm sorry, but we seen what Krispy Kreme and Shipley's can do. And baby, you ain't doing it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's move on. And guys, the next one we have, which should be one of my favorites, but we'll see it's called the Homer. It's basically a strawberry ice donut with sprinkles on top. Now, let me tell you something. If anybody knows me, you know I love strawberry cake, baby. So you say strawberry icing, sign me up. I'm there. Sign me up like I'm trying to get some money from, from, the, from the doggone Powerball. I'm there, okay? Now, listen, I've been into it, and the exact same thing happened with the glazed original donuts. I was confused. Why am I confused? Because, first of all, there was no glaze around the donut that didn't have the icing. You want a still little bit of a glaze action with the strawberry icing on top. So when you bite into it, it tastes like a glazed donut with strawberry. So it gives you like this, this 
this tangible idea of the strawberry gods. I blessed you with a donut and you bit into it and you said, thank you. Thank you. But no, I didn't get that. What I got was another 2.5 out of 5. That's right. You know why? It was tough on the outside. I didn't get that. I, only thing I liked about it was the strawberry ice and everything else. You could have kept that. Once again, I popped the 10 second rule. <laughs> and baby, it didn't do anything for it. Next one up, it's called the Raspberry Romeo. Now listen, with a name like Romeo, you know you gotta be smooth, right? Guys, I've been to this Raspberry Field Glazed Donut. Let me tell you, if you like Raspberry Field Donut, this is for you. This is for you. Stop what you're doing right now. If you live in one of these states that have Buddha Donuts, get in your car. I don't care if it's cold, I don't care if it's snowing, turn your heat on. I don't care if you're in there shivering, shaking, I don't care. Get to the, I'm gonna tell you something right now. That Raspberry Romeo, the Kobe, <laughs> off the top. On a scale of one of five, it's a 3.5 out of five. It's a 3.5 out of five, let me tell you Because when you bite into it, first of all, the, it's, it's, you know how you get a stuffed donut and you only get some stuffing on one side? Mm -mm -mm -mm. This way you get stuffing all around it. You bite into it, that be you get some napkins. But you gonna be doing all kind of like this, cause it's gonna be going everywhere. Delicious. Bite into it for extra love and affection. When you bite into it, I'm telling you it's gonna be good. If you are a raspberry, if you like filling, period, this is for you. Now this one is what I came for. That banana pudding pop donut. I'm not gonna even hold you. It's a five out of five. It's a five out of five. I'm not gonna hold you. Let me tell you why. Guys, follow me. Follow me. Come with the sage, baby. Come, come on with the sage. Imagine a banana pudding. You taste the vanilla wafers, uh-huh. But it's not like soggy. It's, it's got the little crunch to it. The fresh bananas. The bananas ain't turning brown. They still yellow, baby. Like I got the sun outside. And then the pudding to give the nice refresher. I says, come back with the whipped cream to make you feel like you're doing something wrong. This banana pudding donut had all that in one bite. The icing was not sweet. It had more of a whipped cream after taste behind it. It was sweet, but it wasn't like overly sweet, like strong icing. Or like, you know, when confetti cake is just really sweet. It wasn't that. No. It said, love me long time. So I'm here for you. And then the pudding was everywhere. The pudding was like, like bananas got parade with some kind of cream. And then they stuffed it in this nice soft donut. And then they put some kind of powdered sugar on top. That was made from the banana gods. I don't know what happened. All I knew was I bit into it and I looked around. Uh-huh. And I said, baby, I'm here for you. This right here's a five out of five. Listen. They did this right here. They did this. Voodoo Donuts is a cool place to check out. They got a lot of exact donuts there. Some was not good. And some was good. And Sage gonna be here to tell you hitting this good, cause you know what I'm here for. Hey guys, y'all know I love y'all like soul food. And guys, stay tuned, cause you know next video, we gonna do the Papa Dose in Houston versus the Papa Dose right here in Cincinnati. We're doing the verses of cities. Cause you know Papa Dose originally came from Texas, baby. Cause you know Cajun food and all that is right there down south. And I wanna see how that translates in the Midwest. Uh-oh. So stay tuned. Hey, and remember guys, whatever you going through, remember it's a sage in you. Hey, may God keep you. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace.